hello beautiful people welcome back to this youtube channel i want to thank you very much if you are consider subscribing for those new in this youtube channel kindly subscribe guys if you know you're new kindly subscribe it's free of charge guys now welcome as electricians guys i want to show you how these two float switches will be controlling your motor uh, using this float switch no sorry using this contactor and these two float switches and this bulb I, uh, I'm just more strengthening now this bulb will be our motor and this contactor will be controlled by these float switches now guys my first float switch uh, will be controlling the tank that is elevated then the second float switch guys will be controlling the tank that is uh, that is uh, maybe your ground tank now let us start with this uh, elevated float switch now before we start with that elevated float switch uh, let us start by wiring our our main our main wire our main cables to the to the float switch I remember I may decide to put it here or here now let me use this one that way now let me give my motor you see this then my neutral I give into this t3 now that is power let me show you you see now guys in that case you know how the contactor works if you, you you've seen through my videos if you've passed through there now I want to use these two float switches to self hold the, this contactor so that they can light this motor or this motor to pump your water to the elevated tank and also the ground uh, tank also when it has water now let us start we start with the elevated elevated float switch now you know as you know the black the black cable is the live i give it i give it power i give it power then then you take this uh, blue cable the blue one you give it to the a1 you see to a a1 guys you follow clearly to a1 you see you see guys the, the first float switch elevated float switch now let us come to the to the ground one eh? the float switch that is that is grounded that is grounded let me So that does not disturb us now guys you see now here is the difference you use this to uh, then the the, the, the the other why we don't use the brown one you know guys you go there go there in my youtube channel check how we wire the float switches I've, I've explained everything uh, here I'm, I'm not explaining so go there search float switches you will see all my videos including this one now you see this black wire i come and pick from the neutral side come and take from the neutral side i open that way then i come you see then this this uh brown brown cable i come and put it to this a2 you see 
I come and put it. I connect it to this A2. Now guys, we are dealing with color code here. You, you have to remember. You have to remember. You see my guys? You see? Now first of all, I've said you, I've told you, you see this float switch will be uh, elevated will be inserted in your elevated tank and then this float switch will be in your ground water tank now let us start in that case let me explain something here so you see this grounded uh, float switch in your ground tank uh, water will be when water will be full it means this float switch will be controlling this motor to pump water to do you to, to your elevated tank to your elevated tank for those who don't know english let me use swahili nasema ya kwamba he float switch ambayo iko kwenye mkono wangu wa kulia ndio iko kwenye tanki ya chini so he tanki ambayo iko chini itakuwa ikijaa inapab maji kwenye tanki ya juu na tanki ya juu ikijaa pia itakuwa inazima so guys as i've said it's time to test now let us make sure we start it is on you see you see now let us start so guys when when the water is empty both of the tanks the float switch will not will not will not light so this float switch is the one that is in the ground the grounded tank you see so the 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 elevated tank this one here the elevated tank when it is it is empty so it means your motor is pumping your motor is pumping so when it is full also you see the motor will be shut off it means no water will be wasted and nothing will be will go astray so when this the ground tank is empty again you see it means when you are when when you are when your ground tank is empty your motor will not be on because something will go astray you see guys when both tank are empty your motor will not still be on unless this tank is full that's when the motor will be on so that it can it can pump water to the elevated tank you see so as well as the elevated tank is 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 full also your motor will automatically go off controlled by this contactor you see guys empty the ground tank is empty the motor will not be on this motor this this tank is full the motor is, will not be on unless it is empty the motor automatically pumps water full the motor goes off empty no water is pumping no water is pumping unless this one is full no water will be pumped no water will be pumped unless this one is empty the elevated the elevated elevated tank elevated tank you see my guys let me now people my good guys now guys kindly subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this i think guys you have understood now if you have not understood how we wire this thing i've explained go there in my youtube channel as chebukati power such float switches you will see so many videos explaining i explaining how these float switches works guys now thank you very much thank you guys